Picture this, you're exhausted, you're struggling to get through each day, and nothing seems to help. And the worst part is that your doctor says that your thyroid tests are normal. But here's what they're not telling you, is that normal is not optimal. So before you reach for another cup of coffee or blame yourself for feeling this way, there's something crucial that you need to know, that the conventional medical approach to your thyroid health is missing the mark, and it's not your fault. I'm Dr. Josh Shields, a certified functional medicine practitioner, and I've helped thousands of patients reclaim their energy and vitality by uncovering the hidden causes of thyroid dysfunction. What I'm about to share with you might challenge everything you've been told about your thyroid health, and in the next few minutes, I'm gonna reveal the five evidence-based strategies that can transform your thyroid health. And now these aren't just theories. These are proven approaches that have helped my patients break free from the cycle of fatigue and frustration. Now you might recognize some of these symptoms. Crushing fatigue that coffee can't touch. Mysterious weight gain that defies your best efforts. Brain fog that makes you question your mental clarity. Or mood swings that seem to come out of nowhere. Hair loss that's becoming harder to hide. Or you're cold intolerant to where you're having to wear your socks to bed or unexplained muscle aches that make every movement a challenge and digestive issues that no amount of fiber seems to be able to fix. Now the first game-changing strategy is getting the right test. And I'm not talking about just getting the TSH. Here's what conventional medicine really falls short, guys, is that they're looking at your thyroid through a keyhole when they should be opening the entire door. You need TSH, which is thyroid stimulating hormone, free T3, free T4, but the most important that you should be getting and can be done just about at any lab across America is the TPO antibodies and the thyroid globulin antibodies. And these are probably why you're actually feeling so awful. I know there's a lot of people out here that are just trying to figure out exactly what their thyroid levels should be, trying to get that number dialed in. But from my experience, most people don't feel well with thyroid disease because the cause of the thyroid problem is an actual autoimmune disease. And that's what these markers will tell you is whether or not you have a condition called Hashimoto's. And that's when your immune system is stuck in the attack mode and it's actually damaging your thyroid gland, causing it to not produce hormones anymore. So that's why you have to take the thyroid medications to begin with is because your thyroid quit working because the immune system has been attacking the thyroid gland. And these thyroid medications don't address the immune system problem at all. And so when you have one of these autoimmune conditions, it's like having a low grade flu all the time. Your body's constantly achy, it's fatigued, and you just don't feel well. And the reason is because your immune system is constantly fighting itself and it's draining your energy, disrupting your metabolism, creating inflammation throughout your entire system. So you see, it's not just a thyroid problem anymore. It's about your entire immune system that's being dysregulated. And so this brings us to our second strategy is optimizing your nutrient levels for immune system modulation. Now, I know that sounds like a crazy word, but modulation basically means that you're able to turn on your immune system and turn off your immune system. It's much like a sophisticated thermostat. It needs to be turned on when there's a threat and it needs to be able to turn off when the threat is gone. But with autoimmunity, this system gets stuck in the on position. So the right nutrients can really help restore this balance. Zinc is not only crucial for thyroid hormone production, but it also helps regulate those important T cells, which is essential for proper immune response. Selenium, it supports the conversion of T4 to T3, and it helps regulate your immune system activity. Vitamin D acts like an immune system modulator, which is helping to prevent the overactivation of your immune system. And vitamin A is also essential for healthy barrier issues in your gut, as well as that immune response where it can turn off and on. Now these nutrients can be found, like for example, zinc in grass-fed beef, pumpkin seeds and oysters. Selenium can be found in Brazil nuts, sunflower seeds, wild-caught fish. Vitamin D can be found in wild salmon, egg yolks, and it also can be obviously from sun exposure. Vitamin A from sweet potatoes, carrots, and dark leafy greens. And the third strategy is implementing an anti-inflammatory diet protocol. So let me break this down for you. There's certain foods that are gonna be particularly problematic. And the first food you should be leery of is gluten, because here's something fascinating from the research is that studies have shown us that the gluten proteins have a molecular structure that's surprisingly similar to your thyroid tissues. Some of these antibodies can mistakenly start attacking your thyroid. One groundbreaking study actually found that women who eliminated gluten saw a significant drop in their thyroid antibodies within three months of stopping gluten. Dairy, 
Modern dairy presents multiple challenges. The A1 casein protein can actually trigger an immune response similar to gluten, and conventional dairy often contains hormones and antibiotics that can further disrupt your entire endocrine system. Sugar and corn syrup. Now, these aren't just empty calories. They trigger a cascade of inflammatory responses in your body, leading to high blood sugar spikes that can cause and release inflammatory chemicals called cytokines, which can further activate your already overactive immune system. Seed oils like industrial oils like corn, soy, canola are highly processed and contain high levels of omega-6 fatty acids. And so when they're heated, they create compounds in your body that are recognized as foreign invaders and trigger that immune response. Instead, incorporate these powerful anti-inflammatories. Turmeric with black pepper, ginger, rosemary, thyme, oregano, and cinnamon. Also, you can use healthy fats like extra virgin olive oil, avocado oil, and coconut oil. Strategy four focuses on gut health, and this is where things get interesting. Your gut is the control center for your immune system. Think of it like the mission control for your body's defense systems. When you have autoimmune thyroid disease, supporting gut health isn't optional, it's essential. And here's why, because your gut houses 70 to 80% of your immune system. Think of it as your body's primary training ground for your immune cells. So when your gut is compromised, it's like having a glitch in your immune system's basic training programs. So supporting your gut means incorporating fermented foods like sauerkraut, kimchi, and miso, prebiotic rich vegetables, bone broth for your gut lining support, stress management techniques because your gut is highly sensitive to stress. Now, what I'm about to share in strategy five might be the most important piece of the puzzle, especially if you've tried everything else and you're still not feeling better. And this leads us directly to our fifth strategy, comprehensive stool testing. There are three main drivers of autoimmunity that can originate from your gut and proper testing can reveal all of them. And the first is a microbiome deficiency. So having enough good bacteria is crucial because those bacteria actually help you digest and absorb the nutrients that you eat, which are obviously gonna be critical to help your immune system regulate. It also helps regulate your immune system response. They found that when you have a deficiency of this bacteria, your immune system is not able to turn off and on as much as possible. And also those good bacteria are really important because they actually create a mucus and that mucus helps protect that barrier in your intestines to prevent leaky gut. The second thing with the stool test is you can find hidden infections, things like parasites, bacterial overgrowth, viral infections, fungal infections. And then the third component of a stool test is intestinal hyperpermeability or what they call leaky gut. And this condition allows partially digested food particles and toxins to enter your bloodstream, creating a constant state of immune activation. And here's what's crucial to understand is that you can have all these gut issues without having any obvious digestive symptoms. And that's why testing is so important. And the test that we like to use in our office is the GI map from Diagnostic Solutions. It can run somewhere around 500 bucks, but it's well worth it because it provides you with a detailed microbiome analysis. It tells you if you have any of these hidden infections. It looks at inflammation markers of your colon as well as digestive enzyme production, gluten sensitivity, fat digestion, and much more. I want you to know that you're not alone. And more importantly, you're not out of options. So start implementing these strategies one at a time and pay attention to how your body responds and comment and let us know how it goes in your experimentation. Now, what we've covered today is just the tip of the iceberg. And these five tips that I've given you are just a small part of the comprehensive approach that many people have to take in order to really get well again. If you want to dive deeper and learn about our complete system for healing thyroid dysfunction, I invite you to check out our five pillars of healing video, and you'll find the link in the description. Now, remember, your thyroid journey doesn't have to be a solo adventure. So join our community of wellness seekers who are reclaiming their health and vitality. The path to optimal thyroid health starts with understanding the root cause. And that's exactly what we're here to help you discover. So subscribe to my channel to keep getting this valuable information and stay tuned. In our next video, we'll dive deep into understanding leaky gut syndrome and how it affects everything from your immune system to your brain function, to your hormone balance your energy levels, and even your mood. You won't want to miss this crucial information that could be the missing piece in your health puzzle. Until next time, this is Dr. Josh Shields reminding you that your best health is yet to come.